The vast majority of thyroid nodules are benign, but a small percentage are malignant. Uh, some of them uh, affect uh, the function of the thyroid, and uh, some of them uh, do not affect the function until late in the course of the treatment. Uh, when a patient presents with a thyroid nodule, uh, the most important thing is to uh, get to know that patient and find out in their general health status. And then the evaluation of the thyroid nodule, is, it's important to have uh, sophisticated imaging, uh, specifically with an ultrasound, to determine the nature of the nodule. Solid nodules generally are related to tumor formation, both benign and malignant, whereas cystic nodules are generally uh, benign conditions that uh, can be treated conservatively. In most patients, the next step is to do a fine needle aspirate, a sampling of cells that are evaluated by a pathologist, uh, and the skill of the pathologist is critical because they're looking at a handful of cells to try to make a diagnosis and separate benign from malignant. Every patient has options for treatment. Many benign nodules that are small and uh, either growing slowly or not growing at all can be managed conservatively with uh, periodic uh, exams and uh, blood tests. Patients with uh, nodules that are expanding, either benign or malignant, uh, surgery is the a best treatment for that because surgery for thyroid, both benign and malignant conditions, is potentially curable. The operation, though, is delicate and requires a certain amount of expertise because of the presence of a, the thyroid is located in the central portion of the neck uh, with adjacent uh, blood vessels and uh, nerves, as well as adjacent glands that regulate the level of calcium in the bloodstream. An alteration of calcium metabolism can lead to serious uh, nerve and muscle problems. Uh, injury to uh, the nerves that control the voice box can lead to hoarseness chronically or uh, transiently or permanently. And so surgical management requires a lot of uh, expertise and experience.